What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Guess what? It's car season, baby. But before we get the FL5 all fired up, there's a couple more things we got to do before we get it back on the road. Let's get started. All right, guys, remember a couple weeks ago we did the uh, Cusco Power Brace vlog and we were missing one of the braces? Well, it finally came in. Pull it out here. There we go. A very simple piece. Let me pull up the, uh, let me show you guys. Hopefully it shows on the camera. Here's the uh, part number. And I think this is, uh, it even says, I think FK8 on it. So it crosses from the FK8 to the FL5. So it's sim similar. So if you guys own an FK8 and have this brace, and now you own an FL5, you can transfer it over. Let me throw it on for you guys, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so once you remove all the screws and the hardware, the under tray comes off. By the looks of the description, we're gonna have to remove the two 17 mils here, or well, one here and one here. And I think the brace goes like this, not up like this. So it's gonna arc downwards. And I'm gonna put the label on this, the driver's side, because I'm OCD, because the rest of the other labels are facing the driver's side. I'm gonna go ahead and use a breaker bar. Oh, I'm a lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay, the plan is I want to try to snake it in here. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see it's not just my head. I'm like, either that or we're gonna have to. Yeah, hey, it's pretty long. Okay, I have the plan it again. So I managed to, I took off the Phillips here, a couple of plugs, and then what I did was I snaked it through the hole here. There's an opening here, just to be able to snake it back to this side. If you can, hopefully you guys can see. So far it's working. Let me make sure it passes the tow hook here. There you go. There we go. So what I did was remove the Phillips so that this would open up a little more. Maybe take this plug off here too. Same as this side, take that plug off, Phillips. And then I snaked it through where the tow hook is. I snaked it through this way. That's how I was able to get this side in first and then put it back on this side. There you go. And 38 foot pounds. It doesn't look like much, but good, beautiful. Because if you don't do it that way, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take off the whole under tray here, like all this stuff. But it's good. So I'm gonna put it all back together. I'll be right back, guys. All right. So up next, we're gonna go ahead and drop the uh, Civic all the way down. Whispers in my head. What you gonna do? Next item on the list is like Mike Tyson. Just got out of jail. Stronger, faster, and more powerful. Inside this little pink bag, it's the ECU. Stronger, faster, straight from Honda. Honda, baby. Let's go throw it in. I didn't really do a episode on taking the ECU out because it's, it's pretty straightforward. Just goes back inside here. Make sure the locking column 
Yeah, never mind. Goes inside here. Clips in. Just like that. And then we're gonna throw the 10 mils back in. This side up. Just like that. So I kept the 10 mils over there because it's been a while that the ECU has been out. So didn't want to lose the screws. I dropped the screw, you guys. Oh, oh my God. Seriously. Good old magnet, baby. Got her back. If this is a, uh, aluminum, yeah, if this is like aluminum, we'd be screwed, I think. Or titanium, we'd be screwed. Magnet wouldn't be able to get it. But anyways, as I was about to say, I think what you should do, because the bracket here, the screw is, uh, there's a little bit of a play on the top here. So, okay, so let me show you when you guys put this thing in. If you guys, if you guys decide to uh, do it on your own. So if you look here, this one can actually shift. So this one, what I'll do is tighten this one up so that this one down there, right down here, if you look, see, down here. See, now it lines up. Then you don't have to fool around with it like I did and drop the screw. Tip of the day. Now, hopefully we're back in action. So, see, according to my plan, let me show this lines up. And I tighten this down while this lines up. There, so then when we throw this screw in, like that. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna put all the, should the prom seat it all the way. Get lined up. Put the locking pin in. Same as this side. Grommets in. That's it. Put the grommet down. Make sure everything's locked in. Last but not least, put the cover in. FL5, baby. All right, so now we'll go ahead and plug the battery in. Make sure everything's straight. Go to OCD. Nice and tight. This is in. Okay, so I am kind of curious. Since the car's been sitting for quite a, some time now, I'm going to go check the C-Tech to see how much battery it dropped. Probably quite a bit because this is the OEM battery and they're known to like drain the battery. Even though I unplugged it, let's see how much it drained. Actually, I'm amazed. So we're in live mode with the C-Tech uh, app. And the battery sense tells you that it's 89%. So I'm actually really surprised that it didn't drain that much. So 11%, not bad. All right, guys, like I said at the beginning of the vlog, it is officially car season. And there's one thing that I always, I usually always forget every year. And I'm always really, really envious when I see other car guys or car enthusiasts have it. And they're just max and relaxing in it. Brought to us by today's sponsor, Envision Auto Imports. The thing, the item that I think everybody should have in their trunk is the lawn chair. Check this out, you guys. This thing is sick. Like, I've seen some of them, like, selling reps, and do not settle for the reps, you guys. These 
fairly light, but they have a little bit of weight in it so that it's not going to just get blown away. This is the first time I opened it. Thank you Envision Auto Imports for like supplying this to us. But uh, it's, it's brand new, like, come on you guys. It comes with instructions how to unfold this lawn chair or this director's chair. How thick is that? Come here, oh, come, come, I'm gonna show you guys. I can't say it enough guys, look how thick this chair is. Oh man, the construction, <clears throat> nice and soft. Oh, uh, let's just pretend we didn't see this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, this is sick. You guys, I can't say enough. You guys gotta get one of these. I think they do come in blue. I don't think it comes in red or anything. So the, the basically genuine raised uh, director's chair comes in black of obviously, and I know it comes in blue. Man, this is sick. All right, I just wanna show you guys this. Nice aluminum construction. It's, I believe it's um, powder coated. So it's durable, it won't scratch up as easy. So as per instruction, the folding up is straightforward. And you can, uh, it has two handles to carry it around. And of course you can adjust it to your likings for the seat. And on the back it says raise on it. And it also comes with a convenient carrying case here. So when you're done with the car show, let's put it all inside here. Just like that. So we're right in the FL5. That's plenty of room. That's the nice thing about the FL5, you guys. Then you have some room for putting a cooler for all your drinks too. When I first started going to the car shows, I was so like uh, inexperienced. And you know, some car shows are like long. They're like at least eight hours minimum. And then plus setting up time and rollout. And Standing around by your car all day can be really tiring and I was so jealous of those people that were more experienced than me when it comes to car shows and they brought out their lawn chairs and everything and this, I'm going to be ready for this year for just maxing and relaxing while racing right next to my FL5. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this, this week's vlog. Uh, if you guys want this chair, do hit up Envision Auto Imports. I will put the link in the description below. And you guys, these are very limited. I think it's, it, they're hard to get to because sometimes they're, they're really sold out. So if you guys really want one, I believe they still have them in stock, Envision Auto Imports. Thank you to our sponsors again for this, today's vlog. And we'll see you guys in the next, we'll see you guys in the next one. So I'm gonna put, in, uh, put on the tires, give it a nice quick wash and uh, car meet first cars and coffee next week so see you guys then i know you guys a lot of you guys have been asking me to do some driving vlogs and stuff like that so hopefully this year we'll do a lot more thanks for uh watching hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't and we guys we'll see you guys next week see ya Peace.